Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we're going to go to the different installs uh, and different types of screens. Some uh, videos will have more screenshots than others. Uh, depending on what to answer and how much uh, explanation I have to do, because I want to keep each video as short as possible so that you can go to the point if you want to. So the first screens that you'll see, the first thing you'll see, once you are turned on your PC and it started booting off the USB thumb drive is this, the install screen. This screen is going to ask you the language to install. So that's very important to answer correctly from the start if you want to have the proper language on your PC. The time and currency format, so depending on where you live. For example, I chose French Canada because it displays differently from, say, US or, or even English Canada. And then the keyboard or input method. In some countries, it's tricky. You have several methods. Here in Canada, we have the Canadian English keyboard, but we have the Canadian French keyboard. They are different because they don't have the same characters. So it's the same for Spanish, for example. You might have Spanish. Choose the correct Spanish layout depending on where you live. There are different layouts. So check it at uh, check carefully. If you're not sure, use another PC or another device and search for what is the best uh, input method for the keyboard and the time and currency format for where you are located uh, so that, you know what, once you actually start installing, everything will work fine. For example, if you choose an incorrect input method, you might end up that when you type things, it doesn't work the way it should be and some characters might be shifted on your keyboard. Then you'll click the next button, which will bring you to, of course, the uh, Windows setup uh, terms of use, which you accept Microsoft software license terms and so on, blah, 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 which basically just says that they are allowed to do whatever they want and you just have to say, yes, master. And then you'll have this screen. This screen, once again, another one that you choose carefully from. If you already have a clean, if you already have a Windows on your machine, say you're upgrading for Windows 10, or you're simply upgrading uh, from Windows 11 itself, uh, say you have well, Windows 11 21H2, you want to go to 22H2. Well, you'll choose the upgrade install. That upgrade will actually um, keep files, settings, and applications. It is available when um, things are all right. It doesn't mean it will be the case that it keeps everything. It depends on how your setup was done. But it will try to keep the files and the settings in the applications. If you don't see them, they will still be there. Uh, they will. It will create a windows.old folder in which your files are. And there's a lot of things that could be moved there. So it's something to know about. In my case, clean install from scratch, custom install. I install Windows only. I don't want to have anything else. I don't want to keep anything. And in my case, anyways, it was a new hard drive. There was just nothing on it. So that's going to be the next step in the next video. Explaining how the hard drive partitioning and all of that works so that you don't mess up and that you understand as best as possible how to continue. So these are the first three screens that you'll meet. On to the next video for the continuation of the install of Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.